Hello everyone, welcome to your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy, sorry, hold on, I'm just going to try and shift my camera. Ha ha, success. This is going to be a general energy reading for your weekend of May 15th, Friday, May 15th through Sunday, May 17th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the weekend of the 15th through the 17th of May, it does not mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you in, the, in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, guys. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay, first things first. Um, so it seems that they have just rolled up to the construction site across the street and it looks like they're going to be delivering more materials to more building materials to the site which can be very very noisy so this i didn't see this happening until i was literally all set up and ready to sit down and then all of a sudden i heard the big rumbling motor i was like oh no you gotta be kidding and they're literally starting up right now i don't know if you guys can hear it it can be incredibly distracting. I apologize if you hear it. I'm going to do my best to not be distracted by this, but I really wanted to get a weekend reading out for us, so I'm just going to power through this, yeah? Oh, God, this is already, like, <laughs> this is already... Okay, so also the next thing I want to say is um, we, uh, uh, the monthly messages are out. Um, yeah, monthly readings are out for May. I apologize for it being so late, but it is what it is. <laughs> um, so there is a playlist on my channel for May 20. It's titled May 2020. That has all the May 2020 readings in it. If you are a subscriber of my channel, um, w w when you go to my page initially, and I think this may only be on um, a desktop or like a laptop. I don't think this is on a mobile device, but if you go to my page, the first thing you see at the very top should be that playlist of May 2020 readings. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe, yeah? But even if you aren't a subscriber, just go into the playlists on my channel and May 2020 should be there, yes? Um, as far as personal readings go, I am not taking any personal readings right now number one i don't know if you guys can hear it but whatever is going whatever is going on across the street i have to compete with that a lot um and also i'm in brooklyn but also i'm in the process of moving and actually that's actually that is actually happening now i have the date set up i've called the movers everything's going smoothly so far um i'll be there in june um so i'm not taking any uh I'm not taking any personal readings right now while I make this transition. Once I get to my new place, I am not gonna have internet access right away, so I'm probably not even really gonna be able to do morning coffee much. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna try and do my best to stick with the channel and not completely disappear on you guys, especially now that I'm feeling better after all that energetic purge, but from, now, from this moment on, I want to see say it until maybe until like I don't think anything's going to really be settled until about August but bear with me I'm in the process of transitioning yeah oh and for those of you that are wondering where I'm moving to I'm moving to Puerto Rico <laughs> yes honey that is that is happening so you remember you I guess I can tell you guys this now because it's actually happening so you remember when I went to Puerto Rico for vacation um, well, it was for vacation, but also it was kind of a, a test. It was like for me to say, okay, well, wait, maybe I can move to Puerto Rico. And so I, before I even got there, my friend Chloe sent me um, a listing of an apartment. I, 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 I viewed the apartment the day I got there. The next day, I put down a deposit. And then like a few days later, I signed the lease. Was it or did it was it the next day that I signed the lease? I don't remember, but I but I had my the whole time that I was down there, I had my apartment and I knew I was moving down there, but I didn't want to tell you guys because I wanted it to be a secret. Also, I didn't want to talk about it too much because I mean, look at what happened since. I mean, I was supposed to be there May 1st, but pandemic and all that, you know. But anyway, yay! I'm moving to Puerto Rico. <laughs> I'm so excited. But with that said, ever since I came back from Puerto Rico, 
it's been extra hard for me to do readings here because of number one the noise of this construction number two the noise of Brooklyn number three the chaos of the surrounding area and the pandemic number four all of the heavy heavy energies that are here in New York, New York City, Brooklyn, Queens, all of that, like all of that. I mean, I love this place. I was born and raised in New York, in Westchester, really. But um, New York is my home. I lived here my whole life other than when I lived in L.A. for like 10 months, 10 months, which was hell. But <laughs> but ever since I got back from Puerto Rico, I've been very, very starkly aware of how heavy it is here. And I kind of have been saying to myself, how was I ever able to really perform these readings for people and be clear and all that? Like, how did I manage that? Because now that I've seen what, basically what paradise is, like now that I've seen what I can have and where I can be to do this work, I don't know how I ever survived here. Obviously that's a, a retrospect type of energy, 555 five, five on the counter, but okay, so fine. So. On top of all that, all the energies have been like crazy heavy lately, obviously. So that's made it really hard for me to do readings and I'm not gonna push myself. So I say all that to say, I'm moving to Puerto Rico. I'm gonna be there in June. And I, I, it's really best for me not to take personal readings right now. And I'm gonna do my absolute best to keep up with the collective and Patreon and all that stuff, yeah. Um, I'm probably going to be focusing a lot on Patreon moving forward. Obviously, I'm not going to leave YouTube behind completely, but there's probably going to be a little bit heavier focus on Patreon. So if you want a little bit of extra stuff, if you want to get all the extra stuff that I would have normally put here on YouTube, then then go ahead and follow me over on Patreon and we can be friends and we can do be, like interact and do all kinds of fun things, yeah. All right, I'm going to I'm going to leave it there. Let's get started. Here we go. Hi spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our weekend of Friday, May 15th through Saturday, Sunday, excuse me, through Sunday, May 17th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. Alrighty, guys, let's get into this. Ooh, five shuffles today. Okay. Oops, one. For the collective, for our weekend. What's going on for our weekend, please, spirit? Two, what messages do you have for the collective? What are we discussing today? You know what? I, sh I feel like I should ask right now. That was three. What? Do Ooh. And as soon as I put that, I for put that thought together in my head, I got the tingles. What do you guys want to talk about today? That's a much better question. And as soon as I asked that question, a rush of energy just hit me. And it's interesting because I was asking spirit, all right, spirit, what do you want to talk about? And they're just kind of like, mm. Mm -hmm. and then I was like, okay, well, what do you guys want to talk about? Well, actually, now that you ask, <laughs> Oh, you guys are funny. All right, here we go. Two more shuffles here for the collective. Yes, morning coffee for your weekend, your weekend edition of Friday the 15th through Sunday the 17th. All righty, kids. Let's see. What do you want to talk about today? Mmm. I bet you it's going to be juicy. <laughs> All right, kids. Well, theatrics today. Do you see this? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Of course there are theatrics. Look at this. The, first, the only card that has fallen face up is the Five of Swords. So I'm going to take this as our overall energy. I'm going to keep all of these upright. Oop, except for this one. Okay. So... What I'm getting with this Five of Swords energy is 
either you or someone you're connected with has a lot of drama around them but i just get this feeling of not wanting to be involved with this anymore that doesn't mean you're not playing along that doesn't mean you're not fighting back but there is a feeling within you of saying i don't want to fight like this any longer okay and that kind of is the energy of the five of swords or in other words five of winter and that's what this says here walk away from dishonest associations realizing that what you thought you wanted isn't the best choice for your happiness something that is not worth the effort again i'm not i'm not positively clear on whether you are actually walking away from this or not um this could very well connect to what we've been talking about for the collective lately or this could be um someone that's fairly new to the narrative or fairly new to morning coffee and if you're new to morning coffee welcome um, if you haven't been following along over the last i want to say two weeks then welcome uh and if you're resonating with this you might want to get caught up with the rest of the messages as much as you're feeling called to um over the past two weeks of morning coffee yeah just go by the titles um don't you don't don't overwhelm yourself you don't have to watch everything but like focus on the titles and pull on or, or watch whatever is drawn whatever draws you in but there is an energy of giving up the fight it's not worth it any longer and interestingly enough the song through with love by uh destiny's child is playing in my head right now and that came out with um in the virgo reading <laughs> for may um and actually i think it i think it came out in the love reading which is over on patreon but anyway that yeah, but that's the feeling that I get from this Five of Swords. You may still be fighting, you may still be tangling, you may still be, you know, in the thick. You may not be able to, the thick of it, you may not be able to, like, pull yourself out just yet. Maybe you don't, there also, there, mm, there also is a feeling of being done with this fight, recognizing that it's pointless and fruitless and trivial and, and childish and whatnot, but you're still fighting along. So if that's the case, if that's you, then I guess this is a new realization. I think you're just now starting to come into the point of view where it's like, you know what? I don't think I want to fight for this any longer. Underneath, ooh, okay. Underneath the deck is the Page of Cups. Are you are you turning into more of a lover than a fighter? It feels like throughout all this fighting here that this Five of Swords is representing, it feels like there's been some sort of awakening, some sort of shift oh the dreamer is at the bottom of the deck yeah lots of dreamer energy um between the dreamer or the fool which is underneath the page of cups which also is the dreamer energy i feel like there's there's a rise of compassion here something that in ways that you may not have been compassionate about before page of swords is in reverse nine of wands ten of wands ace of wands ooh, the tower and the chariot very good very good okay so here's here's that energy that i was picking up on of not wanting to fight for this any longer not wanting to argue potentially um this page of swords being in reverse talks about um it well it, it could be someone that's really just like 100 percent tactless okay and is clueless and is vindictive and probably narcissistic and mean nasty this maybe this is you or maybe this is the other person or other people you're dealing with here but with the page of swords in reverse and the nine of wands upright i feel like someone here is like look i'm i'm <sighs> it feels like this is someone that's that's fighting tooth and nail excessively now like is fighting in i'm sorry guys this construction across the street is so distracting but um i am getting i am getting two different energies from this however the way it looks technically this should be with the page of swords in reverse and the nine of wands upright first thing you think of would probably be someone that is just fighting excessively like oh, way overdoing it um is in maybe is in um panic mode or um like an adrenaline rush um autopilot someone that's just firing at all cylinders and this could be petty maybe this is, could be the other person who's just being petty and and not giving up the fight and is turning nasty and vindictive and spiteful and and all that stuff just to prove their point and they just keep going they're just they're not stopping they're not backing down or this could be you persevering against some someone like this 
or it could be it, it doesn't have to be vicious or malicious though it could just be someone that's reacting from uh trauma this this nine of i'm sorry the nine of wands with the page of swords in reverse very much could be a trauma response and maybe that's you but i kind of feel like it's the other person and i feel like the person I feel like one person here is done with the is done with the fighting is done with the argument is really is kind of either ready to or getting ready to put down the swords and completely walk away from it. And then there's another person that is fighting excessively, feeling like they need to defend themselves, feeling like they maybe need to keep up some sort of appearance, potentially. But again, this doesn't just have to be narcissism, egocentrism, egocentrism self-centered energy this could be a trauma response okay i mean this is this is kind of a repeat of what we've been talking about all week here uh, maybe we should take a break from morning coffee just because we're talking about the same thing over and over again you know what i mean like whatever what, um, whatever that's just a passing thought don't freak out it's just a passing thought but <laughs> you have the ten of wands with the ace of wands here okay so you're going from the the ten to the ace all right the ten of wands is a the ten is a completion of a cycle or, or situation sure tens do represent completion then you're going from well okay wait looky here looky here i just noticed this you have three steps you're going from the nine to the ten to the ace all right so i guess the difference in the message today is that i feel like there's someone out there that is having a really bad emotional and mental reaction to something this to a tower moment life experience to a massive massive life change massive departure i, I heard departure maybe someone's leaving someone's moving someone's leaving a situation someone's leaving a relationship i don't know but it feels like someone is moving on from this because you were persevering nine of wands you kept going you kept going you kept going and this is why I, i'm saying this message is just the same as the other messages that have been coming through this week because you kept going you kept going you came to the realization that thing that you're overburdened and now you're inspired to move in a different direction ace of wands okay nine ten ace but from the nine to the ten to the ace is speaking of the progress the progression from dealing with this getting to a place where now you're you're just grinding your gears or or spinning your wheels nine of wands just persevering 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 recognizing that oh this is way overburdening i don't have to do this any longer and then finally ace of wands getting the inspiration the chariot and the tower to move in a different direction okay it's almost as if this five of swords energy whatever this fighting it is this destruction this this is really destructive energy this five of swords or at least it can be but what it feels like is happening here is all of this fighting has actually put you back in touch with some dreams or some goals you may have had maybe well, with that page of cups energy maybe maybe you kind of used your dreams as a sanctuary to escape from this abuse maybe this was a really abusive relationship abusive uh marriage romantic relationship maybe abusive home family relationship some there was some sort of abuse that was going on here whether it was mental physical emotional um maybe even spiritual and i feel like maybe you used that page of cups energy as an escape from all the drama from all the madness but in doing that you actually got reconnected with a lot of the things that you dreamt about and there's been this build up of some sort of confidence here between the ace of wands and the chariot i feel like someone has developed a sense of confidence that allowed them to change the game to flip the script to create it to to to, to undergo a tower moment that another person probably someone that's fairly narcissistic even though they may be reacting from trauma that doesn't mean they don't, they're not exhibiting narcissistic tendencies there is a no one is born a narcissist okay no one is born a narcissist narcissism is 
in my opinion at least and i'm not a doctor i'm not a psychiatrist so like whatever if you want to prove me wrong on that you can prove me wrong on that but from what i've experienced no one is born a, mar a narcissist narcissism is tends to be a defense mechanism it may not look that way um but if you uh, like on the surface especially if you're dealing with someone that's over overly boisterous and just really full of themselves but if you really look down deep you'll find that people that a lot of the people that exhibit really strong narcissistic traits or tendencies are people that are quite quite insecure narcissism tends to be a defense mechanism okay so they may be uh, but they may be exhibiting narcissistic tendencies, but they also are, at least it feels like in this situation, they're, they're coming from a place of probably some pretty extreme trauma. Okay. And a lot of the message that has been coming through in terms of this situation over this last week or two has been a level of compassion that has been acquired by the person who seems to be moving on from this situation here, the, the, the tower and the chariot, okay? There is a level of compassion. Now, that doesn't mean that, well, a level of compassion and forgiveness, sure. That doesn't mean that you have to continue associating with them. That does not mean that you're going to let them back in. That doesn't mean that you're going to try again. No, you're still moving on. You recognize that this is a pointless battle. Nine, to, nine of wands to the ten of wands. <laughs> This is an overburdening situation. There is really, I mean, you're caught between a rock and a hard place here, okay? But that doesn't mean that you can't have compassion for the person and understanding for what it is they're going through, especially if this is someone that you've known for a while. There are people from my past where it's like, I look back on some of the things that they did and I'm like, okay, you know what? That was really shitty of you. You're a, you're a, you're a person of a certain age or you've been through X, Y, and Z and you're still acting this way. That's really shitty. But at the same time, I really understand having gotten a look into what your past used to be, the things that you experienced in the past. It's like, I get it. I totally get it. It's not an excuse, but I get it. <laughs> That kind of energy. That's compassionate. Hmm. All right. All right, cool. Let's move forward here. I want to look at the Five of Swords for you guys. Let's get some info on this Five of Swords or Five of Winter. Yields. Let's look a little deeper into that. And I don't want you to think that my, my comments on nar narcissism are like across the board. Obviously, I'm not a doctor. I'm not an expert in it. I'm not a, psychiat a psychiatrist or a psychologist. I'm not a psychologist. But it feels like at least we'll say in this situation, what I'm feeling is there is an extreme trauma response that is happening from someone else. And yes, they may be acting very narcissistic right now, very full of themselves, very commanding, very controlling, blah, blah, domineering and all that stuff. But, it, but there is a, a deep core wound that, has, that is translating into strong, strong senses of insecurity. Okay? That's where this narcissism is coming from, at least in this situation. I'm not going to sit here and allow myself to make blanket statements for everybody. I mean, that's just fucking foolish. But but at least <laughs> that's what I'm that's what I'm feeling here, okay? So with that said, let's talk about this 5 of winter or 5 of swords. What is this energy here? One more shuffle. <sighs> All right. Five of Swords, please. Spirit, what is this? What can you tell us about this here? I guess I feel like some of you need some reassurance that you're not crazy. That this... Uh, I, there could be a, a strong, a fair amount. Yep, there you go. Wow, there could be a strong amount of gaslighting going on here. And with that said, I, as I'm saying, some of you, because I was feeling through it as I was shuffling, some of you need some sort of reassurance that you're not crazy. Here you go, King of Swords. You're seeing things very clearly. You're seeing things as they truly are. You've been persevering here, Nine of Wands, but with that, you have 
damn, you have the two of cups in reverse. You guys, with what? Oh, yeah, whoa, okay, look, you need some reassurance here, then here it is. King of Swords, upright. Two of Cups reversed, Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You have the Nine of Wands that's come out with this, and the in throughout this whole situation that we've been talking about over the last week or two, right, the message has been, you have in fact made the right decision. But also the message has been, you have come to the right decision at this point because you've been fighting so long. I mean, look at this, Nine of Wands. This is the Perseverance card. It's like you you didn't want to leave the situation be behind until you exhausted every possible method. And there's only one method left. Oh, I want to say the breakup of the marriage. That's literally what I just heard. So this we could be talking about divorce here. But this is a relationship. This is a partnership. This is a friendship. This is maybe like a family relationship, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is, right? I mean, we're, call we're, we're here in this King of Swords energy. We're calling a spade a spade, aren't we? So shit, that sucks, but sayonara, right? Because you're not dealing with this shit any longer. Seven of Swords? No, no, I don't care. Look, 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 look. I understand that people are acting from a place of trauma right now. But that is not an excuse. Never has been an excuse, never will be an excuse. You can hold compassion for them. Look, I understand what you're going through. I'm sorry you're, you're feeling this way. Like, I really wish I could help you, but I can't do anything about this. You got to do it yourself. I can't do it for you. Hmm. There may be some um, energies of abandonment coming up because as, as I finish that sentence, then the response I heard was, but you can't just leave me like this. Like, what am I supposed to do? So it could be with this page of swords in reverse energy. It could be someone is trying to gaslight you or bait you or guilt you, guilt you into not leaving them to their own devices. But again, Nine of Wands, the Nine of Wands has come out here twice. You persevered your ass off in this situation until you reached, finally, the Ten of Wands, which is the realization that I can't carry all this burden on my own, to then progress to the Ace of Wands saying, all right, cool, it's time to move on with the Chariot and the Tower. So let's look at this then. Let's look at the, let's look at the Tower and the Chariot here. What is this energy? Okay. The Ace of Cups. The Five of Wands. The Knight of Wands. <laughs> yeah. Look, there is an activation here, Knight of Wands, and it's an unpopular activation. It's an unpopular opinion. It's an unpopular move, Five of Wands. But let me tell you something. It's born out of self-love. Ace of Cups to the Hermit in reverse. Interesting. Oh, I get it. I get it. The Hermit in reverse is here because somebody here was not going within, was not doing their work with the Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. I want to get a little bit more on this Hermit in Reverse. What I'm already picking up is that the Hermit in Reverse is talking about, because now here we are on the, on the tower, right? It's the tower and the chariot, but the tower moment happened because someone, well, there's a lack of introspection here, which created a problem. Five of Wands. But that problem became destructive and toxic, okay? Because you see here, you have the Five of Wands, right? Which is creating the tower moment, but the, I'm sorry, you have the Five of Wands with the Hermit in reverse. So what I'm seeing or, or picking up on here is someone wasn't going within, the other person was like, you need to fix this, you need to face yourself, blah, 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 blah. There was a refusal, there was a big, big, bag, big bad argument. Everything became toxic, started to become even more toxic than it, than it already was, Five of Swords which then caused someone 
to activate themselves, to go through an activation, to activate their heart light, to get in touch with their dreams, the page of cups, to get in touch with their sense of self-love and thus activate them to move on to something new. The chariot. I want to look at the hermit in reverse though. Why is the hermit in reverse here? Ten of cups? What? Seven of cups, temperance, seven of pentacles. Two, yeah, look, there you go. At the bottom of the deck is the, the refusal. There's the refusal right there, the two of swords. Okay. You had someone that maybe they thought they had the ten of cups. But what they didn't realize is that there was more to be done. There was more that they had to do in order to really have the Ten of Cups that they thought they had. This might have been someone that was that knows for a fact that what they had in terms of this situation or this relationship was not at all what they wanted it to be, what it was meant to be. And yet they kept sweeping it under the rug. There was a refusal to do any sort of work in bettering oneself. There was a refusal to, there is a refusal to go within and do your inner work. You're never really going to have your 10 of cups, your true 10 of cups, unless you do your inner work to, we'll say it this way, to even understand what your true 10 of cups would be. If you're still going on what society tells you Ten of Cups is, honey, you're missing out. You have your own point of view. You have your own view of what your ultimate emotional fulfillment, whether that be love, family, career, whatever, your ultimate emotional fulfillment would be. But if you're still living through the lens of everyone else, which it looks like someone is because they're not going within to find their own inner sense of self, the hermit is reversed here. So if you're not doing that, then obviously you're missing out on your Ten of Cups and you're probably lying to yourself about whatever this situation is. So may, so there you go, Page of Swords in reverse. Don't want to go within, don't want to figure things out, don't want to see things as they truly are. And thus, here comes the trauma response. Because yet again, they're being faced with the situation that triggered them or traumatized them in the beginning potentially, or maybe it's something that's similar, or it's just bringing back up those fears, maybe fears of abandonment and rejection. But here's the thing. The more you live in inauthentic life, the hermit in reverse, the more you live an inauthentic life, the more rejection and betrayal and hurt you are going to experience. Because everything that you come up against is not going to be in greatest alignment with yourself, with who you truly are, and with what you truly want. It's all going to be out of alignment for you until you get in alignment with yourself. There is definitely an energy here of having made your bed and kind of laying in it. And that uh, I'm also hearing comeuppance. And that's not meant to be a slight on anyone, but we are the, man, the the creators of our own realities, okay? So we create by holding a vibration that brings certain things towards us, law of attraction. If you want to attract something different, then you have to change your vibration. You have to change what you're aligning to. And it looks like the best thing for someone to align to here is their own self. I mean, it's always the best thing, to be quite honest. But here, it's kind of imperative, isn't it? It's necessary. It's what was needed all along. Is this the answer you guys have been looking for all throughout this whole situation? Is this why we've been talking about this all week? I mean, I'm not, I'm not passing judgment. I'm just, I'm, I'm starting to realize, wait a second. This feels like the golden nugget in the whole situation that we've been looking for all along. This feels like what we've been digging for all along. This realization, this understanding, 
that know, first of all, you're not crazy. You have been perceiving this correctly. King of Swords, Two of Cups in reverse. And here's why. The Hermit in reverse. Lack of self-awareness. But I don't feel like it's both parties here. I feel like it's one party. Now, it doesn't have to be. It could be both of you. But if you're sitting here watching this reading right now and resonating with this, then I don't think you're the person that lacks introspection. I mean, let's be real here. Whether you intended to or not, in the beginning when you watched readings, right? Ultimately, the readings you've been watching over this amount of time have been providing you with a space or a way to go within. It's been providing you with a little bit of introspection, right? I don't think this other person that you're dealing with has been watching these things or going through this in any sort of capacity. I could be wrong. I mean, this is a general reading, so I could be wrong. It's entirely possible. I probably am wrong on a number of occasions, but this is a general reading also. Yeah. All right. Five, five, five on the counter. I'm going to close out the reading. What do I want to do, spirit? Gaia Oracle. All right. Alrighty. Closing message, please, Spirit, for our weekend. Again, you guys, I apologize if you can hear the noise in the background. I see that I can see on the the um the audio meter on my the, the what on the program I'm using to record this reading, I can see that it's kind of being picked up ever so slightly by the mic. I apologize if it's really distracting. I'm gonna be out of here soon. <laughs> and I'm so excited. Okay. All right. Closing message, Oracle guidance, please, Spirit. Woo! Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay, Spirit. Amethyst. Transformation. Certainty. Confidence. Mm-hmm. These are all the all three of those things are what we were talking about today. Transformation, certainty, and confidence. You better get it, y'all. Mm-hmm. Forty one. All right. Amethyst. You gonna focus? You gonna you gonna you're gonna do the you're gonna do the things. Is it that's good. A profound transformation is taking place in your life. After much soul searching, you are now back in control. A new you is emerging, poised and with the renewed sense of confidence. You can move forward with certainty. The past is now behind you. The hard work has been done. All you have to do is decide what it is you truly want. All is now possible. Listen to your heart and don't settle for second best. Set your course and then go for it. Be certain, be confident, and all is yours for the taking. Blessed be. Mm -hmm. There is an affirmation here if you'd like to say it along with me. It goes like this. I give thanks for the transformation and healing that has taken place. I move through life with gratitude. I move through life with certainty. I move through life with confidence. I achieve my goals. What I focus on, I create. Let's say that one more time. I give thanks for the transformation and healing that has taken place. I move through life with gratitude. I move through life with certainty. I move through life with confidence. I achieve my goals. What I focus on, I create. Yes, honey. I love it. 
So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee, most likely on Monday morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.